Hi everyone. In this video I'll try to see how good ChatGPT really is. I'm sure most of you have already heard about ChatGPT and all its capabilities. I'll try to use it to write a code using 3 blue one browns Manim. Manim is an open source Python library for creating animated math videos. So, let's begin. First, I'll ask ChatGPT to draw me a sphere. Hi ChatGPT. Can you draw me a sphere using Manim? Keep in mind that ChatGPT collected information up to 2021, so in order to make Manim work properly, I'll have to modify it a little. Okay, here is our code. Let's see whether or not it works. As you can see, it also gives us a little more information on certain sections or functions in our code. Now let's see what kind of a sphere will we get. As you can see, I added only 10 frames per second in order to speed up the creation of an animation. Now we only need to run our code. And finally, here is our sphere that ChatGPT drew. And here it is, a nice blue sphere. Now let's play the creation of a sphere, instead of just adding it. Since I'm using just 10 frames per second it won't look that smooth, but what matters is that it works. We need to use play, instead of add function. And now we will see what it looks like to create a sphere. And here it is. For whatever reason, ChatGPT decided to draw a sphere in the corner and not in the center. I'll keep it like that, since that's what it wrote. Now, I'll ask it to write a code that draws a circle. Let's see what that looks like. It seems it wants to draw a circle at the edge again, and not at the center. It must love edges. And here it is. A red circle, that we can't fully see, because it drew it at the edge. Let's now see a more complicated example. I wanted to first draw a circle and then transform it into a triangle. While it seems complicated, it is rather easy to do that kind of transformation in Manim. 3 blue 1 brown really did create something amazing. After copying code and then running it, we finally get our transformation of a circle into a triangle. Unfortunately it is again drawn at the edge, but what matters is that it works. Let's see another simple example. I want it to write me a code that draws a line. Let's see what that line looks like. It wrote us a code that draws a line diagonally, and again, it draws it at the edge. I'll ask ChatGPT to draw me a line, that then transforms into a circle. Now we just copy and paste this code, then we run it. And finally we get our transformation of a line into a circle. Since I'm using just 10 frames per second, transformation won't look that smooth, but what matters is that it works. Now I want it to write me a code that draws a circle, that then moves from left to right. Let's see how good of a job it will do. After copying and running this code, we see that there is an error. It seems that move to destination is not defined. As I said earlier, ChatGPT uses information that it collected up to 2021. There have been many changes to Manim library since then, so we see here that ChatGPT is not able to write properly code that moves circle from left to right. Let's see how ChatGPT will write us a code that draws three dots and then connects them with a line. After copying and running code, we can see what ChatGPT has drawn. We see that only two out of three dots are connected. This is probably because I did not provide ChatGPT enough information on what to do. That's it for today humans and AIs. From this little experiment that we did, we can conclude that, while ChatGPT is a really powerful tool, it's still too underdeveloped to be used for any complicated programming. Finally, let's ask ChatGPT to say hello to all viewers who watched this far. I have a question for all of you. What do you think, when will AI be powerful enough to replace people in programming, or math and physics? Write down in comments.